All right, man. So today we have a Melina high damage combo tutorial with the Scorpion cameo. This has been requested by many, so it's about time we get to it. All right, man. So to start this combo, we'll use the Ambitious Strikes combo string, which is just square triangle. So the Ambitious Strikes is actually a three hitting combo string, although it only requires two inputs. And the good thing about this combo string as well is it actually hits overhead. So realistically, this will be one of Melina's better go to combo starters. Now, right after we connect the Ambitious Strikes, we're going to go with her classic ball roll which is back down in circle so one more time ambitious strikes special canceled into the ball roll now as the opponent is launched after the ball roll we have enough time to use her high heel which is her standing circle however make sure after the ball roll you do a quick dash forward that way you can cover the distance between you and the opponent falling from the sky so when we put that together, we get the stand circle right there. Because if you were to do this right where you are, you can see she's going to whip. So you have to do that dash. So right after you connect the high heel, you can see we have to dash forward once again, right into the right size combo string, which is triangle square. So when we put it all together, you can see forward dash, stand circle, dash forward into the right size combo string. Again, that is triangle square. Now, once you connect the right size, you will special cancel into the enhanced ball roll. To do the enhanced ball roll, all you have to do is back down circle plus R2. So when you put that all together, man, the combo should look like this. Melina will actually go into an animation. She grows the Tarkat and Blades, man, and it's still one of the most badass things about Melina in Mortal Kombat 1. But what's really cool about this animation is it actually gives you a launcher, and as you are launching the opponent, you can call in the Scorpion Cameo Assist, the far version, and to do this, all you have to press is up and R1. So anytime we get the enhanced ball roll, as soon as she stabs him in the neck, that's exactly when you call in the far Scorpion Cameo Assist. Because let's say if I do it early, Scorpion isn't going to be there. He already shot the fire breath. Once we do it after she stabs him in the neck, that is the perfect time to call in that assist. So now the combo should look like this once we get that Scorpion fire breath. Wait for her to stab them. Now we call it in and he's going to launch them up into the air. Now, right after the Scorpion Assist, we are just going to loop the same high heel into the Enhanced Ball Roll once again. So we're going to do the Stand Circle and Special Cancel into another Enhanced Ball Roll. So when we put that together, our combo should look like this. Wait for them to fall down, Stand Circle into the Enhanced Ball Roll. And of course, during that animation, we already know that we can call in the Scorpion Cameo Assist. So as long as we have the Cameo Meter, we can loop that assist as well for a second time. Now, when we add that second Scorpion Assist, our combo should look just like this. There's the first one. Here comes the second one. And you can see they're going to come right back to us because the Fire Breath is launching them. So this actually gives us enough time to go into the Royal T's aerial attack string that Melina has. And this is just to do jump in and hit square and triangle. So anytime we get a launcher, we can connect with the Royal T's combo string. And just like any other string, man, we can special cancel into her air ball roll. The cool thing about her air ball roll is she actually gets size when she spins. So this actually sends the opponent up for another launcher. So when we put all of that together, man, we should have something like this. One. Let's do it twice. Jump up, air ball roll. And you can see all three sides are going to land on the opponent. And this will give you enough time to go into a final ball roll once you land. So when complete, man, the combo should look just like this. Forty-nine percent, thirty hits in that combo string, man. One of my favorite combos in this game. Now this next combo is a bit more technical, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. So to start this combo, we'll use her rug sweeper string, which is forward triangle circle, and this string actually hits the opponent low. So just like the ambitious strike string, this is another great combo string for Melina to actually open up the opponent. So once we connect the rug sweeper string, we'll special cancel into a regular ball roll just like that and like before we have the high heel string which is just her stand circle but the cool thing about this is if you time it perfectly you can actually connect it twice as the opponent is airborne so when we actually do the high heel remember we have to dash forward to connect it but when you want to use it twice in one combo make sure you do it at max height the first time and then dash forward a second time into the high heel once again so just to show you one more time it should look like this 
and then dash forward to connect it. And of course, we can special cancel into the enhanced ball roll right after the second high heel. So now the combo should look like this so far. Just like that. And of course, as Melina is doing this animation, we already know that we have that Scorpion Fire Breath Assist. So now once we add that in, our combo should look like this. Wait for her to stab them, and now we call him Scorpion. Now instead of going into another high heel right into the enhanced ball roll like we did in the last combo, we are actually going to use the mouthful combo string, her aerial attack combo string, which is square triangle triangle. So anytime we get a launcher, we can actually use the mouthful combo string and then special cancel into her downward teleport. So just to give you an idea, we can do this right into the downward teleport. And of course, as you hit them with that teleport, they get launched. So we have a second Scorpion Fire Breath Assist to back us up and keep them airborne. So when we put this all together, man, our combo should look just like this. Jump up, square, triangle, triangle, teleport, fire breath assist. As they are falling after that fire breath assist, this is when we are going to use that high heel once again into the final hit, which is the enhanced ball roll. So when the combo is complete, man, we should get 50%. Just like that, bro. 50%, 26 hits in that combo. All right, man, for this final combo, we are going to start with the twice scorn string, which is forward X circle. So this combo looks like this. It's multi-hitting, and Melina will go in with a series of kicks. Now, of course, we're going to special cancel this string right into her regular ball roll. And just like the last combo, man, we are going to connect the high heel string, which is just her stand circle, two times in a row. And then right after the second high heel, we are going to special cancel into her enhanced ball roll. Just like that, and of course, once she stabs him in the neck, we are going to call in the far fire breath assist from Scorpion. And of course, like before, we have the mouthful combo string, so we are going to use that aerial attack and jump up and press square triangle triangle right into her downward teleport. Just like that, and of course, like we already know, we are going to call in a second assist from Scorpion. So far, the combo should look just like this. And we do it a second time, right? Now, as the opponent is being hit by the second fire breath assist, we are going to jump up and use the mouthful combo string once again. And to finish the combo off, we are going to special cancel into Molina's enhanced downward teleport. So when we finalize this combo, man, it should look like this. Enhanced downward teleport. And you can see Melina gets 52% for 31 hits. But that's going to do it for this high damage combo tutorial, man. I hope it was useful. Melina still hits like a truck, man, even after the nerf. So make sure you take advantage. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.